right, so let's now that this is dry and the wings are dry, wait till you see how beautiful they are. Um, let's do some finishing touches on this and finish up our magical being here. I'll just grab my palette and I'm going to mix a dark. I like to use ultramarine blue and a burnt sienna for my darks. It's my go-to, my trusty, trusty friend. Uh, and if I want to have a cooler dark, I'll add a little cobalt to it. And if I want to have a warmer dark, uh, I can add some reds. But I want this to be a little bit cool. And I'm not going to do a whole lot here. I'm going to give a little bit of shadowing around the, the head form. And then maybe just a little bit along the body. Not a whole lot. Um, you know, again, the star of the show here is the wings. Just ever so slightly. Just give this some shape, and then we'll come back in. We'll blend that in. And just keep it nice and simple. Of course, for me, the hardest part of any drawing is just being patient and waiting for the paints to dry. And I'm just going to come along and just lose these edges, just to make this look a little more 3D. This brush is such a joy to use. It holds so much water. And, and look at the point that's still on here. And I think, how about just for fun? Because as with any living thing, your eyes are always your focal point. It doesn't matter if it's a person or a dragonfly or even a tree. If there's an eye shape, it's going to draw the attention of your viewer. Just lose a couple more of these. So let's go ahead and give our friend here some pretty gold eyes. Hopefully you're watching this wherever you might be and thinking, oh, I could do that. It looks like fun. And you know what? It looks like fun because it really is fun. So there's a couple gold eyes there. Maybe just a little more dark around the front here. There we go. I think it'd be kind of fun to just ever so slightly along the body, just give it a little sparkle, just a little shine here and there with the iridescent paint. And then maybe I'm going to use the lizard lick here at the fine, fine point. And let's just give some little So little calligraphic strokes, just to give it a little complexity. Lovely. And I think I just want to do a little bit more on this tail here. I don't know, maybe it's not a tail, <laughs> whatever it's called. And as soon as this is dry, we'll pick it up and we'll show you just exactly how, how much life, how, how much sparkle there is in those wings. Uh, I also want to mention, I don't know if you can see, but inside this water, you can just look at this magic. I call it dragonfly scales. Isn't that beautiful? And you can paint with this 
you know, add just a little bit of shimmer. But make sure if you're using these paints, uh, if your painting is going to a competition, make sure that they allow um, iridescent paints and different kind of medias. It's just a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I don't just throw that away. I'll usually save that and use it. But let me just sign this real quick. And we'll let this dry and come back and show you the final effect. Okay, here we are. Time for the big reveal. Uh, before I do this, though, I want to take a moment and just say thank you to Motion Media for the filming. Uh, a heartfelt thank you to Cheap Gels for the opportunity to be here and to share with you. They're fantastic people. I love them. And being here has been an extraordinary experience. So let's take this masking fluid off now and see what we've got underneath. Hope we'll get a nice gossamer effect. And I can't wait to show you the shine. So I'm just going to take my fingertip gently because I don't want to rub the, the shimmer off either. And I'm just going to take that little layer of masking fluid that we put on there and gently lift it off. I don't want to rub so hard that it gets uh, heated up. I don't want to have friction because I think it might melt the paint. But I'm just, just gently rubbing and lifting that masking fluid off. And oh my gosh, so pretty. This is so much fun. And I'm sure you'll find ways to use this in your, in your daily art and in the things that you're doing. Incorporate and make a part of your world. Ever so gently. And it is absolutely imperative that this is dry, dry, dry before you do this. You don't want to smear your paint around. My friends, look at this. Isn't that just amazing? Have fun.